Chapter 10, Problem 12. In this problem, we need to find the cash flows for year 1, 2, and 3, and then the net present value. Um, if the asset, the fixed asset, actually falls into the three-year depreciation class. So first we will calculate the annual depreciation for the equipment necessary for the project. The depreciation amount each year will be calculated using the rates based on the useful life of three years. So those are the rates. And we take the 3.9 million original cost of the asset for the first year times it 33.33 percent. For the second year, the depreciation rate is 44.45 percent, and for the third year is 14.81 percent. And we find the depreciation amounts for three years. So the book value of the equipment at the end of the three years will be as follows. It will be the original cost minus the, dep the accumulated depreciation. So the book value at the end of three years is 2.288,990. The asset is sold at a loss to book value. It's sold um, for 210000 but its book value was higher than this, so we have a loss. So the loss is um, tax deductible in this case, and we're using the um, formula. We take the 210000 what was it sold, and then we calculate the tax, the tax amount on, on the difference and your after-tax salvage value is 237,647. We will use that number later on, and um, it's going to be part in the cash flow in the last year, when we in the year that we sell the asset. We will add that in our cash flow. So to calculate the OCF, the operating cash flow, we will use the tax shield approach, meaning that we're using this formula. So for, for, for in year zero, all we have is um, we have our purchase of the asset, the 3.9 million outflow and the outflow for NWC, the networking capital. So in year zero, the cash flow is 4.2 million negative because it's a cash outflow. In year one, we have we using the depreciation amount calculated above times the tax rate. In year two, we're using the same formula and we're using the depreciation amount of 1.7, 1,733,550. Again, what we calculated above times the tax rate And then the cash flow in year three is a little bit more co complex. To calculate that, again, we're using the same, the same numbers for your sales minus costs, 1,810,000 times one minus tax, right, 0.65, plus the tax right time depreciation for that particular year and and we adding two new variables in this year we adding back the salvage value we calculated this above and we also adding back 300,000 our initial cash outflow for NWC so we are capturing the the networking capital in the last year and we have to add it 
to come up with the cash flow for for year three. So now that we have all of the cash flows, we can find the net present value. Now to calculate the net present value, we will use the calculated cash flows. So using the financial calculator for cash for the um, cash flow zero, we put this is the cash flow minus 4.2 million. This is cash flow one cash flow 2 and cash flow 3 and we're using the interest rate of 12 percent and to calculate the net present value and the pre net present value is the result that you'll get is 42,432.42 .42.